if you got some ripe bananas and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. And not too much on the bananas, y'all. They're supposed to look like this because you need them to be ripe. This is my banana bread recipe that I got from Brooke. I will tag her here on TikTok. You're going to start off with four ripe bananas. Then you're going to add some melted um, salted butter, a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, um, one egg, and then you're going to give it a mix. I will have the recipe in the description below. So yeah, then you're going to mix that up. You can use a blender or whatever. I use the King Arthur's brand of flour because it's not bleached and it's really good for you and then you're gonna add some baking soda and then a pinch of salt yeah y'all see me mm -hmm. a pinch of salt <laughs> and yeah i don't really be baking like that but banana bread is really easy and i didn't want the bananas to go to waste so in um a, like a bread dish or whatever or a glass pan you're gonna add your mixture into it and then this is the strudel it's just some butter some flour and some um brown sugar and a sprinkle of cinnamon but i added a little touch to it y'all i added some cinnamon toast crunch seasoning on top yeah 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 and you want it to look like this again this is just a strudel it's gonna give it that crunch on top and it's gonna go in the oven on 350 for one hour and y'all it's gonna come out looking like this like some cinnamon toast crunch bread for real that's really what it looked like but it's banana bread whole time y'all it was so good i didn't even wait it to cut into it that's why you see all the steam coming out because when i had something to do and i wasn't waiting around i wanted to show y'all but look at this like it was so fluffy so good so delicious so moist all of the above if you try this recipe let me know mm-hmm